Hey y'all, it's me Boo, and I am back with another review. Um, I was going to, you know, save some of these fragrances that I have for springtime and do them for springtime reviews, but I don't know about the rest of you all, but I'm already, you know, really a, a week past tired of, of winter already, so I am just not good with waiting. I'm already dipping into my spring fragrances just because... I'm hoping that'll push winter along a little bit, you know, but um, if not, it still makes me feel good. So, this one is one, actually, I would wear year-round, and I have been, um, but I am going to be wearing the shite out of it uh, come springtime, and this is Nest Midnight Floor. Isn't that bottle divine? And I mean, this bottle is solid, too, and here's the back, so you see. This is incredible. Now this, I would say, is on the feminine side of unisex, just slightly, because to me this is kind of a sweet musky floral, with a slight touch of woods maybe in there. Um, yeah, especially in the dry, dry down, the wood starts to come out more. When you first spray it, it's just this sweet, musky, sexy, fun kind of fragrance. Florals, definitely. And then it dries down, and the florals and the sweetness kind of soften up, and so does that kind of musky note that I'm inter interpreting. And uh, then the woods and the soft part of the sweet kind of comes forward, and it's really lovely. The projection is really good for the first couple hours, and, and I'm cool with that. As long as I get a couple hours worth of projection, I'm happy with the fragrance. I just don't like it to be 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and ping, you're done. This one's two to three hours, and I'm totally happy with that. And then it comes close and becomes kind of a skin scent. The only thing I would say is that it doesn't last nearly as long as I was hoping. Um, it lasts about six hours, and it's done, pretty much. It doesn't have that funky, last, raw stink that some of the perfumes do um, right before they poof out of existence. But um, it, it just kind of dries down into this very light kind of woody smell and then it's gone and you know I'm okay with that especially once springtime comes now I have been testing it on my skin and not my clothes so the performance may be a little better um, with uh, using it on clothing but I haven't gotten that far with it yet this season because like I said I, I really was trying to save it for springtime so anyway, um, in this bottle, I guess I understand <clears throat> these fragrances were all based around the paintings. There's a different painting. There's like three fragrances, maybe four, no, I think three. And each one of them has a different painting on them. And they're incredible paintings. I mean, this is just, it is beautiful. It's not actually painted on the bottle. It's just a print or whatever. But man, this is a nice bottle. I just love this bottle. And the fragrance, it breaks my rule. You know, I've always had this rule that the prettier the bottle, usually the stinkier the juice. And if it's more of a basic bottle, nothing too, no many, not too many bells and whistles, then it's usually pretty good juice. That still holds true for me, um, even in the niche market for the most part. Except for this one, the exception that proves the rule. Do da, do da. This is so gorgeous and it smells so good. So, let me tell you what's in it. All right, um, came out September of 2012, and uh, Nest Fine Fragrances, it looks like, uh, is more of a makeup company that does some fragrances, and all of the bottles, by the way, are black with the paintings on them um, with a black background, which is really cool. Um, Uh, oh, Amazon Lily and Passiflora are the other two. Um, the nose behind this fragrance is Jerome Epinet. Top note is Jasmine. Middle notes are Vanilla, Orchid, and Exotic Woods. Base notes are Patchouli and Black Amber. Hmm. God, I could have swore there was some musk in there. But, you know, I told you before, they don't always list all the notes, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not smelling what I'm smelling, but, you know, maybe some of those notes are making a musky a, a chord or something. I don't know. But it is incredible. If you have a chance to stick your nose on it, I really encourage you to do so. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's uh, longevity is about six hours. After two or three hours of good projection, 
it'll become a skin scent but and I do think this is unisex the guys that would like this um, I, I don't know if I said this yet but um, would be the ones that wear like Noir de Noir or um, some of Lardesans like Fleur de Roses or um, what would be another good one um, maybe Coral Mandel you know if, if if you are the kind of guy that likes those kind of fragrances then you'll probably dig this so I totally recommend it and that's Midnight Fleur by Nest and I'm Boo and you have a great day all right